I want you to stop what you're doing right now because this information that I'm about to give you is literally going to change your life. Like this has never been taught on YouTube. All the fake gurus who's never changed anybody's lives, they, they don't have any credit. They don't even know this information. Like the times that we're living in right now is very hard. Uh, gas prices is going through the roof. We're, we're, we're in a recession. We just got off of a pandemic. All the cost of living is rising. So I, I put this training together for artists, specifically recording artists who need funding, recorder artists who need capital to invest into their business, into their production, right into their promotion, all the things that you need to actually be a successful artist. It all comes down to having income and having that cash flow. So I'm going to teach you this. That's why I said nobody's teaching this. They're not smart enough to actually know any of this information. So like I said, Put your phones away. Pay attention because this is literally going to change your life, your family's life, and literally help take your career to the next level. Like my artist, Cur uh, Courage, not my artist, he's not signed to me, but he's in one of my programs, right? And he, this is a testimony that he left. He said, your platinum artist funding program literally changed my life. I created my own record label, signed myself, and I was able to get my record label um, I was able to get my record label over $120,000 in funding. And I did this in less than 60 days, less than 60 days. Think about that. With us being in a recession, this course really came in handy and not only saved my life, but my family's life. I owe you big dog. So that's an artist named Cur uh, Courage. He's in one of my coaching programs and I taught him literally, I literally step-by-step -step show him how he could actually get six-figure funding for his record label. And as you can see, it literally changed the whole trajectory of his life. So why are you here, right? You're here because you want to learn how to start a label. You want to learn how to sign yourself and get six figures and funding for yourself. And I'm going to show you literally how to do that in less than 30 days. But before we get to that, let me tell you a little bit about myself because there's probably some new people that's watching this and they have no clue like, who is this guy? So who am I? My name is KU on the track. I'm a platinum record producer. I have over 30 billboard hits. I, I have a Grammy nomination. Um, basically, I'm responsible for the success of some of your favorite artists. Um, in 2009, I, pr I produced my first hit called Swag Surfing, and this was with an independent um, group called FLY. This was the first hit I produced. I was an independent producer. They were independent artists, and we both literally got in the door, kicked the door down with Swag Surfing, and they became platinum artists, and I became a platinum producer. And 14 years later, this song is playing everywhere. It's on uh, Beyonce's new song, Tyler Perry. I mean, Beyonce's new movie on Netflix, Tyler Perry's new movie. Literally, I signed off on over 10 movies a year for 14 years straight for this song to actually be on. So this song literally is on ESPN and everywhere. And it was my first hit single. And it was their first hit single too. So I took them from unsigned to major. And check this out. Right after that, I took Roscoe Dash. I did his first single. He was unsigned just like you. And I got with him and I produced his first single called All The Way Turned Up. And then I produced his second single called Show Out. Now, Future, everybody knows Future, one of the biggest artists in the world. Well, guess who produced his first single and they helped him actually become major? I did. His first single called Magic, I actually produced this record for him when nobody knew who he was. I gave him his first hit single and I could keep going. Rich the Kid. I gave him his first single called Coop Gone Crazy. And then on a remix, we put YG on there. Um, Shy Glizzy, I did his first hit single called Funeral. And then for the remix, we put Jeezy on there. I, I've, I've literally been taking unsigned artists just like you and taking them and making them platinum artists and major artists and, and household names. Um, like I said, I have over 30 billboard hits. As you can see, I, 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 I produce for Jay-Z, Rick Ross. Tyga, Khaled, I mean, the list goes on, as, as you can see. And this, this is not even all of the hits that I produce. So the reason why I'm just uh, telling you this is because I want to show you that I'm credible. So I want to show you that I'm credible on actually being the go-to the go guy to teach you all the information that I'm about to show you later on in this training video because none of the none of these little YouTube gurus that you listen to, none of them have don't have a name like me in the music industry. None of them have any credibility, but I do, and I have the most credibility, right? So 
Here's another thing. Uh, if, if you're looking at the screen right now, this is just a screenshot of a coaching program I have. So I have a higher level coaching program for artists where I show them how to get more streams, fans, and how to make six figures from their music. So I also have that as well. And that's that's what I've been doing this past year is really working one-on-one -on -one with artists and really coaching them. And, and so, like I said, I just want to show you who I am, what I'm responsible for, because again, you're getting hit with so many different ads. So many people are, are hitting you with misinformation and the people you're getting the information from literally have no fucking clue what they're talking about. So why did I create this training? Well, the reason why I created this training is because we are in a global recession. I don't know if you've checked the gas prices. I don't know if you've checked the food prices lately, but everything has went up. Everything is up right now. Everything is going up. We're, we are in one of the worst times. And here's the thing. And there, it's bad news. I hate to tell you this. It's only going to get worse. The gas prices is only going to get worse. The, the cost of living is only going to get worse. This is just, just, just the beginning. The pandemic, that was phase one, right? So... The thing about it is like, what can you do as an artist to actually get the funding that you need? You know, it's getting more expensive to be an artist nowadays. Like, think about this. Let's break this down. Because because of this recession, because of this pandemic that we're in, which is like the pandemic two or three, depending on when you're watching this, because we're, we're headed towards a downstream, right? Cost of living is becoming way higher. I live in Los Angeles. There's homeless people everywhere. And guess what? I live in a good part of Los Angeles and even they're becoming homeless because they can't afford to pay their mortgage and rent. It's only getting worse. So as an artist, what does that mean for you? That means that the cost to, of being an artist is actually rising. Like, think about this. You, you need production, right? You need funding for mix and mastering. You need funding for promotion, video shoots, photo shoots, graphics, uh, streaming platforms, like just to get your music on the platforms. All of these things are going up. If you haven't went on these beat stores lately, these producers are now overcharging because they need more money. Like mix and mastering, they're adding more money to it. Promotion is, is high and through the roof right now. All these things that I have on the screen, if you haven't noticed, they've added an extra tax on it. So now becoming an artist is actually more expensive, right? So 99% of artists and musicians are starving because they basically they don't know what to do. They're, they're doing the same strategies over and over and over that don't work. 99% of artists, they're literally doing the same strategies and it, it annoys me so much. I hate when I see such a dope artist. And then I look at the, the strategies that they're doing to get their music out there. Or, or, and it's the same typical thing that everybody who uh, the other people who haven't made it did. So it, it's, it's so weird when I see this, because when I see artists are constantly uh, posting on social media, it doesn't work. Right. It ain't working like you see on the screen. Paying for open mic nights. It ain't working. Paying music marketers, paying to be on playlists, these little weird little Spotify hacks that people are telling you to do on YouTube. None of these things work, and I can prove it. Name one artist that's ever blew up from, from open mic nights or, or being playlisted or Spotify hacks. or None of these things are working. If you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you're doing either one, two, or all of these different things. And you know I'm not lying. It doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Uh, these things that artists are doing is only helping their ego. It's not helping their income. Like like posting on social media so you can get a bunch of likes and comments and stuff. That helps your ego. It doesn't help your income. Like asking people or uh, the the listen to your music and them telling you, "Yo, bro, your music is dope." That's that just helps your ego. But here's the question: How many pats on the head? How many people have to tell you that your music sounds good before you realize you ain't making no damn money from it? Ego. The, fuck all that ego stuff. You need to learn how to get income as an artist. Ego is not going to pay your bills. Ego is not going to save you in the time that we're in right now. And literally, I can prove it. Spotify, for one stream, Spotify pays 0 0.0033. They pay half of a half of a half of a penny for one stream. So now let's do the math real quick. If you pull up a stream calculator for free, just Google stream calculator and just put your desired amount of streams. But here I put in 100,000 streams. 
If you got a hundred thousand streams, you would literally only get paid 400 bucks. And guess what? If you didn't make the beat to that song or those songs, you by law have to give half of that to the producer who made the beat, which means that if, if most artists don't make their own beats. So out of that 400, you're only pocketing $200. That's out of a, a hundred thousand streams. Now, look, why is this important? Because why do people get playlisted? Why do people pay music marketers? Why do people go to open mic nights? Why do people do all those things that don't work? So people could actually click and listen to their music. But as soon as they click and listen to the music, you get paid half of a half of half of a penny. So think about that. You're, you're putting in all this work into having people actually click your music and stream it. But the streams don't even pay you no money. Think about it. A hundred thousand streams. Imagine how much money you have to actually pay just to get a hundred thousand streams. Now, think about this. Imagine how much sweat equity that you have to put in to get a hundred thousand streams. Think about that real quick. Most artists that I meet, they have ring lights and they're constantly doing content. Then they're going on TikTok and they're trying to do these challenges. Then they take the video from the challenge and then they upload it on Instagram. And now they go live every three days on Instagram just so they can get some more followers. You're doing all of this so people can click on the link in your bio and listen to your music on a platform that's fucking you over. That's not even paying you. Think about that. So, so logically... The amount of time in 30 days that you put just sweat equity that you put just in your music just to get streams, you would make more money at McDonald's flipping burgers because at least you get to walk away with liquid cash. So I see a bunch of great artists who are literally morons when it comes to the strategies that they're using to actually become actually get an income. They're doing ego activities, ego, ego, like that's what I'm saying. When I'm when I meet artists, they're constantly posting. They're doing all these things to get comments and likes. That shit don't do nothing for you. That, that shit don't pay your bills. So I'm stressing this because I'm trying to show you that in order for right now, in order for you to be the artist that you want to be, you are going to have to take your music hat off and put your business hat on. Jay-Z is a businessman that just so happens to know how to make music. Rihanna's a business woman that just so happens to know how to make music. So it stands the reason that maybe you should be a businessman or business woman first before you do music. That way, anything you touch will turn into gold. Do you understand what I'm saying? So why is this important? Because right now we're in an economy that's a shit economy. So my question to you is, how, how long you want to keep playing these games? Getting a beat. Going right into it, going to the studio, recording it, uploading it on the streaming platforms, waiting for somebody to discover you, and then doing it again over and over. Einstein says the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. Have you been doing the same thing over and over as long as you've been doing music, just uploading it and sitting back? Listen, I'm about to say something that's very controversial. Most artists and strippers literally have the same mindset because both of them are waiting for another man to come save them because they're too weak to learn how to save themselves. Let me repeat that. Most strippers and artists literally have the same mindset because both of them are waiting for another man to come save them because they don't have and possess the, the, the belief in themselves to actually save themselves. Think about that. Now, why why am I saying this? Because every artist I meet, they're telling me, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this because I want a record deal. I'm doing this because hopefully somebody comes from a record label and comes and save me. Oh, OK. So you think like a stripper. Think about that. How, how can I re you can have great music, but how can I respect you as a human when you don't even believe in yourself enough to handle your the business of your music? But instead, when it comes to the business of your music, you're waiting for daddy record label to come save you because you're too weak. So when I look at the scope of the world, when it comes to music, when I, when I look at the scope of artists, I see a lot of dope artists who are weak humans. 
So if you're watching this, I don't want you to be a dope artist who's a weak human, a dope artist who's a dummy when it comes to business, a dope artist who's easy to fuck over because he don't have his mind or her mind of her own. Instead, she needs somebody to come down and aid her from a record label or a manager because they're too weak to learn their own business. That's sad. So if you're watching this, I want you to be a great artist, a smart artist. I want you to be a businessman and a business woman that just so happens to know how to do music. Because everybody that you look up to that's great, they're great, not, not necessarily because they're talented artists, is because they have great business, right? So this, this training right here is to show you how to get on top of your business. I know if you're watching this, you, you need an extra six figures. What five or six figures, what would you do with that? If I could show you literally, quickly, how to get five to six figures without having a sign to a bogus label. Stop thinking that you need a label in order to get funding because you don't. Think about it. All your favorite artists are complaining about their record deals because they're in 360 deals. What's a 360 deal? Basically, most artists are in 360 deals where they take 100% of your masters and 50% of your royalties and everything. They take they take your tour money, licensing, endorsement, publishing, your record sales, performances. They, they have their hand in every fucking thing that you do. Why do you think your favorite artists are just complaining about their record deals right now? Look! Look at well, look at the baby. Look at the the Taylor Swift fight with the big machine. Look at Lil Uzi's fight. Look at Lil uh, Richie Kids fight. Look at Megan the Stallion. How many artists do you want me to name? No, scr scratch that. How many artists do you need to see tell you, Meek Mill, uh, that they hate their record deal and that they're getting screwed over? So if you know now that record labels are screwing screwing artists over and you still want a deal from a record label, then that means that you hate yourself. That's a form of abuse. That means that you don't even have any love or respect for yourself. And that's what I see when I look at the scope of artists. I keep meeting unsigned artists that are great, that don't have self-belief, that don't have any business, that don't want to even try to learn the business of the music that they said they love. Are you that? Do you want to be a weak artist that don't got no business and that therefore you, you're just a starving artist? Do you really want to be that? You don't want to be that. You know, so here's a question. What's the best method to quickly get $100,000 in funding or more? That's the question. The answer is simple. Getting on top of your business, starting your own record label, signing yourself and giving yourself a six figure deal. Now, Let's get straight into it. How do you do that? I'm going to simplify it. I'm, uh, I, I, at the end of this, I'm going to let you know about the program that I got. Like, It's a really dope program. That, that first uh, testimony that you saw, that was from this program. And I'm going to simplify this as much as I can. But of course, in a program, that's when I really give you the jewels. And trust me, I, I, I'm not taxing you for it. So if you're wondering, oh, man, it's going to be, it's not, it's not a lot at all. I'm not taxing you. But let's get into this real quick, just so you could understand it in more of a simplified way because a lot of you guys when y'all think about business you get scared you get nervous oh business business is easy business is not hard you just got to learn to know you just need to know what you're doing right so this is what i teach artists this this is why majority of the artists that are in my courses or programs literally if you if you've been following me and you've been following me on instagram this is why i have so many artists making six figures 50,000, 100,000, getting 200,000. This is, this is why, because I'm teaching artists how to be businessmen and businesswomen. So let me just simplify. First, you want to sign your, you want to sign yourself, right? You want to sign yourself, start your own record label, get yourself a six figure deal. So first you got to come up with a label name, right? That should be easy. You're able to come with all these, you know, song title names. So you should be able to come up with the record label name, right? So like mine is Beat Mechanics Entertainment because I originally started for my production company with me and the Beat Mechanics, which are producers. So it's Beat Mechanics Entertainment. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come up with your record label name or your entertainment name. So the second thing you want to do is you want to register your business. Now, there's a lot of different ways you, you want to do this, but basically all this means is you want to legitimize your business with the state. 
you know, a lot of artists I, I meet and, and, and party promoters, they're like, hey, we're, you know, we're the something, something ENT. Oh, uh, we're the, we, you know, we're the something, something boys, ENT. And then I go and just go and I do a business search and I find out that they don't even, they didn't even legitimize their entertainment company. They're just throwing it on t-shirts, but they never knew how to actually to legitimize it because they don't have no business about themselves. So, you know what I'm saying? So you want to, you want to register your business. So, it, so for instance, if, if your record label is, let's, let's say, uh, clout records, right? Now you need to legitimize it and, and register it. So there's a lot of different ways that I teach to do this, but I think the most simplest way that you could do it is you could go to a website called LegalZoom.com. So if you go to LegalZoom.com, uh, you could go in there and within 10 minutes, you could literally legalize and, and, and literally legitimize your entertainment or your record label. So that's one gem I'm going to go ahead and just throw at you. If you want to you know, legalize and legitimize your record label just real quick and get it popping within 10 minutes, go to LegalZoom.com. Now, that's the second thing. You want to register your business. The third thing is you want to get a DUNS number. So even though, so even though you have your 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 business and you went through legal zoom and and right and now you you got it legitimized um you got your EIN number that's that's another story but you know you need your EIN number but after you get your EIN number now you need your duns number and to me you don't have a real business unless you have a duns number so there's different ways that you could do this as well but again, um, we're trying to get funding, right? We're trying to get five or six figures. So we can't just go to LegalZoom and just uh, and, and, and legalize our business because that doesn't qualify us for funding because there's a few more steps like this. You want to get your DUNS number. And after you get your DUNS number, the fourth thing you want to do is now that you have that, now you want to get accounts that report to business agencies, right? So you want to sign up and get these different accounts. So so first of all, you want to get your business. Uh, you, now that you have your LLC and your DUNS number, you want to go to different banks and you want to open up a different account. So I always tell my students, I'm like, you want two major banks and then you want a credit union because the credit union, there's so many different benefits when it comes to funding uh, that you could get. But you also want to have two major banks because if you're traveling, if you're on tour, if you're going around the world, if you need money and you need a lump sum of money fast, you want to be able to go directly to the bank. So you want uh, businesses that are around your uh, region that are literally known. That way, in case you ever needed a lump sum of money to take out, you know that you can always just go up the street. Right after you open these bank accounts, the next thing that you want to do is you want to start getting biz You want to start applying for business credit cards. So this is where you actually want to get more secure cards for your business because all you're trying to do is just build up a rapport for 30 to 60 days. So I teach my students that there's specific credit cards that you should get. And yeah, you're getting funding. Maybe you'll get like five figures. Maybe you'll get like, you know, a low five figures, but you're simply getting these uh, secure business cards because you want to start building that rapport and relationship. And we go into detail about this as far as with getting your net 30 accounts too. So like I said, you want to pay this on time for 30 to 60 days because at the end of the day, you, you want to build a good business credit because once you build a good business credit um, rapport and you could do this between 30 days and like I said, 60 days, then you're able to apply for the business loans and funding and the business loans and funding is actually where you get the six figures. So that is simply these six steps. Now, of course, there, there are a little more in detail in, in my program, but this is simply it in a nutshell. It's not hard to actually get funding. You could get six figures within 30 days easily. Listen, I'm gonna get straight to the point. I put together a 30-day course where I'm showing artists how to start their own record label, how to sign themselves, and how to get five to six figures in 30 days. It's called the Platinum Artist Funding Program. A lot of my students, they went through this program and they literally was able to get the capital they needed to actually invest into their career. Check out what my student Kathy has to say, who joined this same program. In less than 30 days, she was able to get six figures in funding. 
After joining the Platinum Artist Funding Program, I was able to not only successfully launch my record label, but I was also able to get six figures in business funding easily. Literally, it took 34 days to set everything up, and now I don't have to worry about expenses when it comes to recording or promotion. This program is definitely worth it. I have a student named Avi who joined the same program, and just see what he has to say about it. I just got approved for $50,000 Business American Express and another $60,000 in funding. Now I'm able to pay all my bills for the year and work on my music full time. I always struggled with no having the money for prediction and promotion. But thanks to UKE, I'm now able to build in my career up the right way. Guys, listen, the strategies I'm showing in this training, they really work. I have tons of testimonies I can show you. Listen, we're living in a different time right now and you need funding because it's more harder than ever to be an artist because it's so expensive, right? The gas prices are rising. Everything is rising right now. So I don't want to be like these other gurus that's telling you, hey, do this TikTok stuff. Hey, do these channels. No, listen, you need funding. You need capital to invest into your career as an artist. These are the strategies that's going to get you to the five to six figure level so you can actually be good during this recession and this pandemic that we're in. Your music needs to be funded. Now, I understand that you could probably tell me, hey, well, I'm just making music for the art because I just want my music and message out there. Well, in order to get your music and message out there, it has to be funded. There's no way around this. And, and right now, in today's time, if if you want to be popping, if you want to be seen and heard on a massive scale, you got to have a budget behind you. So I'm showing you how you can actually get that budget without having to sign these 360 deals like I told you about, all these bogus management contracts. You could do it on your own. You just need the step-by-step -step guidance. And that's what this program that I've developed for you is all about. Check out what my girl Christina has to say who joined my program a couple of months ago. Check this out. Hey, K.E. I just want to say thank you for coming out with your Platinum Label Funding Program. 24 days after I joined, not only was I able to launch my very own record label, but I was also able to earn over $100,000 in funding for it. Now I'm able to invest into my career all because I invested into your program. Thank you so much. Now here's the thing. In the past, I've charged $9.97 for the same program. Most of my students all paid $9.97 to be in there, including the video testimonies you just saw. All the students paid $9.97 for this same program, but I'm not going to charge you that. I, I really thought about this and I see the, the state of the world and the economy. So because of that, for the next couple of days, I'm only going to charge you $97. $97. And by the way, $9.97 is a steal because my students it's paid a thousand dollars and then got a hundred thousand dollars in return it's a 99 percent like that's crazy right and i'm dropping it even lower i'm dropping it to 97 bucks and like i said i'm only doing this i only uh re-released this I, I first came out with this in the pandemic and i, I wanted to re-release it because you you need funding you need capital i don't care what you think i don't care what people tell you 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 need funding this thing this world seems like it's about to turn into the Hunger Games and you're going to have the have nots and you're going to have the have yachts. I want you to be on this side. So I want you to get the capital and the funding that you need. I want to show you the business model of how to easily sign yourself, how to create your own entertainment and record deal. Now, I'm not telling you that you don't need like, you know, you don't need to actually just sign to a label or whatever. I'm not anti-label. What I'm telling you is that I want to actually show you how to sign yourself so that way when you do go get a deal if you go get a deal you could do a jv which is a joint partnership versus them actually owning you y'all could go in 50 50 partnership but you can't go 50 50 partnership if you don't have a business it has business business 50 50 so i want to just I, I want you to take your creative hat off and put your business hat on and i want to show you how to sign yourself like my artists, like the students that you saw, how to actually sign yourself. We we help you out. We help you with the uh, get you the entertainment lawyers. We get you the contracts in this program. I go really deep in this program, me and my team. So it's, it's way more than I showed you on this free training video. But like I said, I'm only going to give you this 
for $97 just for a couple of days. After that, it's going back to $997. And the reason why is because I have to be fair to my students who did pay $1,000. So that's why I'm going up so quickly. So I'm going to keep it up for $97. But like I said, in this program, we're going to show you how to get the loans. We direct you to the different banks that we have relationships with. We direct you to the different, um, we direct you to different loan lenders who actually could give you the funding that you need. And this is real detailed. And this is why so many of my students are literally getting the funding and the capital they need. So within 30 days, it's easy to get a six figure funding. I, you just need to know the step-by-step -step strategy. And that's why I put this program. Now, if you can't invest 97 bucks into yourself to learn how to make get five or six figures within 30 days, I don't know what to tell you. Like you, you probably shouldn't even be watching this video. But if you are an artist that wants to take your career to the next level, if you understand the fundamentals of anything that I talked about in this video, and if it makes sense to you, you understand that when you look around, everything is going to shit. Everything is getting way more expensive. We have way more homeless people in the world right now. I don't want that to be you. I don't want you to be a starving artist because you don't have to starve. You just need to learn the business of music. It's called music business. You just can't keep making music. You eventually need to learn the business because if you, if you don't learn the business, it's going to take you away from your music. You should be thriving. Your family should be thriving. And you should actually be a platinum artist no matter if you're signed or not. But that all, in order to get to that level, it must be funded. Your promotion must be funded. The strategies that you use to get your music seen and heard must be funded. So I'm only going to keep this up for a couple of days. It's 97 bucks. All you have to do is click that link below. I can't wait to see you in the program. And most importantly, I can't wait to see those results. So click the link below and I look forward to seeing you in the program. Let's get it.